Good morning. We are gathered to celebrate the memorial of St. Juniper of Sarah, a missionary within our church. We praise God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. We come knowing of the trust and the love of God. We come realizing that we gather this last time in this church. The love, the compassion, the mercy he showed upon his children will always be there. Let's examine our lives then and ask God for his healing, his pardon, and his strength. Lord Jesus, you are complete compassion. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are complete forgiveness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are complete redemption. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. And we pray. O God, who through the blessed Juniper of Sarah brought people without faith from darkness to the light of truth, grant us through his intercession that we may stand firm in faith and remain constant in the hope of the gospel he preached. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son Isaac, your only one whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a burnt offering on a height that I will point out to you. Early the next morning, Abraham saddled his donkey, took with him his son Isaac and two of his servants as well, and with the wood that he had cut from the burnt, for the burnt offering, set out for the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham got sight of the place from afar. Then he said to his servants, Both of you stay here with the donkey while the boy and I go on over yonder. We will worship and then come back to you. Thereupon Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac's shoulder, while he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two walked on together, Isaac spoke to his father Abraham. Father, he said, yes, son, he replied. Isaac continued, Here are the fire and the wood, but where is the sheep for the burnt offering? Son, Abraham answered, God himself will provide the sheep for the burnt offering. Then the two continued going forward. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Next, he tied up his son Isaac and put him on top of the wood on the altar. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how, God, how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its thorns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham named the site Yahweh, Hence, people now say, on the mountain, the Lord will see. Again, the messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did and not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly 
and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their, of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. Abraham then returned to his servants, and they set out together for Beersheba, where Abraham made his home. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Not to <clears throat> us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Because of your kindness, because of your truth, why should the pa pagans say, where is their God? I will walk in the land of the Lord. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. I will walk in the land of the Lord. They have mouths but speak not. They have eyes, but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but smell not. Their makers shall be like them, everyone who trusts in them. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. He is their sheep and their shield. I will walk in the land of the Lord. According to Matthew, glory to you, O Lord. After entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And there people brought him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. And Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor such evil thoughts? Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise and walk? But that you may know this, that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he turned to the paralytic and said, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowd saw that this, they were struck with awe, and glorify God who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> There's always a danger when we take the, the eyesight we have today and look back into history and inflict our ideals today back into history. You can't do that. Things were different back then. The situation, the, the environment, uh, the society was back then different. And we're doing that quite a bit today. We're, we're taking our eyes for understanding today and going back maybe 100 years or 50 years to maybe an author or maybe something that was written or an action of people and saying how horrible that was. Today it would be. Back then it might not have been. We do that often. And sometimes when we, you, I did that as a kid. Who's going to kill their own son? Who would do that? Now, we've heard that reading hundreds of times in our lives, and not, I don't think anybody's really thought, so God tells me to tell my son, okay, God, what the heck, I'll do it. It doesn't make sense to me in today's world. When we go back, though, in the time of uh, Abraham, other gods of other countries demanded human sacrifice all the time. This is the first time Yahweh asked, but there's always a first. So Abraham thought, just like everybody else, 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this because I trust God. But that stops him. He makes a great story of the faith, what Abraham is, a very important story. But uh, my problem was when I was younger is I read that with today's sense, looking back, and you can't really do that. Two men are doing that with Juniper Sarah. He was a uh, Franciscan missionary, and he was very intelligent, learned a lot of theology, been taught in the schools for 10 years, but his yearning inside was not to teach, he wanted to be a mission. And he finally got his, his wish, he got to take several of his friars, he went down to Mexico, New Spain, and began to evangelize. It was a terrible beginning because people were just really harsh on him at first until it kind of caught, kind of caught on and Christianity started to spread. He himself baptized 6,000 people. He started seven, uh, seven of nine of the uh, missions in uh, California. He's known as one of the builders of the state of California. He's been canonized lately. But you have people who go ahead and take our sensibility today and look back what was happening back then. And you just can't do that. What he was doing back then was what society did all the way, how they interacted, how they treated, what they accomplished. We can't look back. We have to look forward. We have to say, here's what he did. We may not agree with the pattern that happened, or the path that happened. I don't agree with Abraham going to kill his kid. I don't agree with that. But back then, it was a statement of faith. What Unipero Sarah did was a statement of faith. What we do today is a statement of faith. Now, people look back on what we did 200 years from now and say, why did they do that? That was so wrong. We do what society, what our God tells us to do today. And this feast of St. Unipero Sarah uh, he is one of the saints we pray to and for, for vocations in the church. And we need them. I am 61. I will retire in nine years. There's 140 priests now in the diocese. And unless situations change, people's hearts are changed, when I retire in nine years, there'll be 100. And that's not in Omaha, that's over the entire diocese. Now, I'm not doing that to scare you. I'm doing that, we need to pray. And we need to ask young men who have a faith life, who look like they're close to God, to say, have you thought about serving the church? I wouldn't have stayed for 40, or for 34 years if it was miserable. I wouldn't have stayed for 34 years if I hated the job. There's a lot of other stuff I could have done. But this is what fed me. This is what nourished me. And a little bit of encouragement can go a long way. This is our last Mass in this church. I've only been here 10 years, and, it, and it's really hard on me. I can't imagine what's been for people who are here since the beginning. This contains the faith memory. This contains the, this contains the entire collective spirituality of the people who have been going here uh, since the parish began 40 years ago and since we're in this building 35 years ago. And as we, I think all of us mentioned on the weekend, to just spend a little bit of time and recognize this is a, such an impact in our church, such an impact in our lives, such an impact on our souls. Now you're all going to have the trouble of finding a new seat to find. I know everybody sits in the exact same seat. That's how I know when you're not here. <laughs> But you'll find your new seat, and we'll form new communities again. And God will continue to impact us in a new place. For we thank God for what we had. We thank God for what we achieved. We thank God for how he built up our lives, touched our hearts, nurtured our souls, helped us through difficult times, and helped amplify our joy. That's what we gather for today, as we give it over to God, and we start a new chapter tonight in the, uh, in the church. So I thank you for, uh, for prayers, for future clergy, that we can continue, the church continue to grow. We can continue to go forward. We can continue to make Christ present, body, blood, soul, divinity to the multitudes who are thirsty for it, who want it, who need it. And let's continue to pray for the parishioners who are no longer with us, that help this church become what it is, and pray for our future parishioners, our children, that they will continue to make the church what we dream it to be. My friends, we offer our prayers and our petitions in thanksgiving for the ways God has blessed us so deeply that we might live as people of gratitude, respond in gratitude, help where we can, and always pray for those in need. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray that God will protect and watch over our fold, that he will keep him safe and free from harm, healthy, 
We pray that, he, they watch, that God watches over our Archbishop to keep him close to him and with strong in his uh, courage and wisdom. We pray for all of our appointed and elected officials, locally, statewide, and nationally, that they will always listen to the prompting of the Holy Spirit and do what is moral, right, and just. We pray to the Lord. That life may be respected from the moment of natural conception to the moment of natural death always. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are for those uh, who are suffering from the coronavirus. We're doing well here in America with the virus with the vaccine so available. Huge areas of the world are suffering because of this. May God help the vaccine reach them soon. May He be with those who are struggling. We pray to the Lord. For the world over, where there is tragedy, whether it be where the uh, uh, in in Florida where the uh, um, condo collapsed, where there be calamities during earthquakes and floods and hurricanes. Lord, there's so many people in your world that are struggling because of natural disasters. Help them and help us help them. We pray to the Lord. For peace in the world so torn by violence and rest, persecution, hatred, terrorism. May there be peace not only here in America, but the world over. May God protect those who protect our peace each day in the armed forces. May he, keep hold, may he keep safe those who protect us and keep us safe, the, the firemen, EMTs, and policemen. We pray to the Lord. For those who are sick and suffering and need to feel the healing of God in their body, in their mind, and in their soul, may God heal each of them most according to his will. May he be with those who will die today, that they have comfort and consolation at the moment of their death. We pray to the Lord. For those we love who have died, that they may be at peace with God and his kingdom, surrounded by his love always. We pray for Patty Beatty and for all those that we love. May they truly rest in the peace of Christ. We pray to the Lord. I invite you to add any petitions you might have at this time. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God of compassion, love, and mercy, we thank you, we praise you. You have touched our lives and blessed us in so many ways. Accept the petitions we have voiced aloud, we hold within our hearts, we've written in the parish book of petitions, and we, and we offer them all to you, along with our faith and our future, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who has humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Thus be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to accept the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away our iniquity, cleanse us from our sin. My friends, we stand and pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. 
Mr. Kivo, Lord, we pray, and the offerings of your people, for which we bring on this feast day of St. Juniper of Sarah, and in your kindness, render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created us, and when we were justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed us. Through Jesus, the angels, praise your majesty. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, George, our Archbishop, all the clergy, the religious, and all your faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Martyrs, with St. Juniper of Sarah, with St. Wenceslas, St. Peregrine, St. Rock, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the children of God, a family gathered here in prayer, let us pray as our Savior has taught us. Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, but that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, 
my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which Blessed Juniper of Sarah never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lord, we come to this final Eucharist here in this church. But the Mass has never ended. We should go forth and live the Mass. And the church is not a building. The church is the people of God. So as this community, and we go forth, may we live the Mass. As we gather in our new worship space, may our community continue to grow. May we have the memories of what happens here to hold dear to our heart. May we create new memories in our new worship space to continue to grow in love with you. And on this day, may the Spirit of God be with you now and always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. In this year of St. Joseph, we offer this rosary for the needs and intentions of our parish. The Luminous Mysteries. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith, hope, and charity, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The First Luminous Mystery The Baptism of the Lord When Jesus was baptized, he went up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, and behold, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. And lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The Second Luminous Mystery The Wedding Feast at Cana His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The Third Luminous Mystery, The Proclamation of the Kingdom The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive Forgive us our sins, save us us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The Fourth Luminous Mystery, The Transfiguration He was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his garments became white as light. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The Fifth Luminous Mystery The Institution of the Eucharist Jesus took bread, and blessed, and broke it, and gave it to them, and said, Take, this is my body. Jesus took a chalice, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank of it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Oh, Holy amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen. Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Remember, O most pure spouse of the Virgin Mary, St. Joseph, my beloved patron, that never has it been heard that anyone invoked thy patronage and sought thine aid without being comforted. Inspired by this confidence, I come to thee and fervently commend myself to thee. O oh, despise not my petition, dear foster father of our Redeemer, but accept it graciously. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.